Hey YouTube, Red Eyes 105 bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. It's that time again where another character is added to the game and the unlock awards are now available to, well, earn. And then also, Kratos is available to unlock currently in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So let's head over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and let's talk about it. Okay, now for those of you who don't know, right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, you can actually unlock a character that was a part of a previous event named Antinomy. Right now, this character right here. Oh, just passed him. Antinomy is now available to battle at the gate. And this also means in Yu Gi Oh! 5 D's world, he is available unlocked by completing these challenges that should be popping on screen now. And basically, to actually do these challenges, you must reach stage 6 in Yu Gi Oh! 5 D's world to actually trigger his unlock missions. And in game, you can find these unlocked missions right under here in your missions tab and go to world. And basically, the characters you have unlocked will show up right here. Like, these are the characters I have unlocked in Duel Monsters World. But his actual unlock challenges are to get the character Antinomy. Play has Yusei Fuda and win one duel against Antinomy at level 30 in Duel World. Perform three synchro summons in one duel against Antinomy using Yusei Fudo. Summon Student Star Dragon one time while playing has Yusei Fudo in a duel against Antinomy. Use a trap card three times in one duel against Antinomy. And reduce your opponent's life points to zero by inflicting battle damage with Shooting Star Dragon in a duel against Antinomy. So, 3D challenges you can possibly get done in one duel against the Tenemi. You just have to say his, well, say his difficulty to level 30. You just have to summon Sue and Star Dragon. And you have to win the duel by inflicting damage to him by zero. All this plans you say Fudo, of course. But anyway, that's how you get the character in Tenemi. And I also like to thank these people right here. Because if it was for them, I would not have found the information because I was having trouble finding it on Duel Links Matter. But. Anyway, so next up on the agenda is the other character that's currently available to unlock in the game, Crotro. Now, I already have this character. I have a video doing over his skills and unlock rewards already up on the channel, so go check that out. But anyway, to actually unlock this character in game, you have to play in the current event where you have to earn 1,300,000 points. Now, the ways you can earn those points is by basically doing NPCs and to collect these papers to go into the event tab and battle him when he shows up right here or assist other players in their raid. And the kind of decks I would suggest for this event is ones that can go into number monsters that have like a... that can do multiple attacks or either Galaxias. For example, right now I am using this Onomat deck that I use for casual play, really. If it looks quick on it. Yeah, this is the deck I'm using right now to actually go against him. Basically, you can consider this a budget build for Onomats. But basically, I you go into Sark Drake to deal the most damage. Number 7, do Maleficent Sin. And of course, you can always use Utopias and Utopia Ray to deal damage. And also, like I said, Galaxy Eyes and Neo Galaxy Eyes deal five times damage as long with the number monsters. So use those cards if you really want to try to defeat them in a Ray and also assist the players. And now for my people that already got the characters like I do and already played this event before. The only things that you have here to motivate you to hop back in and actually do it is to get to skill um, Gimmick Puppet 4 and 8, which will let me go to the character. Or oh, let me see. Yeah, right here, basically what the skill will let you do is change the level of all level 8 Gimmick Puppets to level 4, or change all level 8 Gimmick Puppets, well, Change the level of all gimmick puppet monsters on your field to 8 until the end of the turn. So you can basically make all your gimmick puppets level 4 in your field or you can make them all level 8. So it give you a little bit more consistency and more options in XC summoning with gimmick puppets. But 
anyway, I should have a screenshot up already or already popped it up by now on what you need to do to actually unlock that skill because I unlocked it last night. I don't really have the information like on hand. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. I should have one a video up maybe next week during Arc 5 World or after Arc 5 World. And of course, just like all my other character unlock videos, I will have a video basically going over all of the R5 characters level up and unlock rewards and every one of the skills that are unique to that character. But anyway, I'm out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.